In this video, we will review how to create, align, and move elements in three unique ways in Altair HyperMesh. Let's start with our first technique. We will use this bracket, which has a mesh generated on its one surface, but we need to have elements on the opposing surface. We change the entity selector to elements, and then do a box select to highlight all elements. And then we can copy and paste the elements. After pasting the elements, I can see directional arrows, which allow me to drag the pasted selection. But in my case, I will snap my pasted origin to the one corner, and then easily drag that corner to the bottom surface corner. This will paste the elements on the bottom surface. With the elements copied, let's move to another technique. This technique allows users to project elements from one geometrical feature onto another. In our case, I'm going to project our elements from one surface to a different surface. If I go to the topology menu and select Align Project, I can select the elements on the top surface, and then I can select Project to select the bottom surface. Vector selection can also be used to aid in making the element projection easier. This technique is very useful for complex geometries where copy and pasting isn't useful. Let's look at a final technique where we can create elements off of an existing element. This method can be particularly useful for putting a shell on top of a solid element in a sandwich method for common applications like composites. This method is also useful for having element nodes directly aligned without having to use any other alignment tools in HyperMesh. We will first start with generating a hex mesh on this conical part. HyperMesh's hex meshing tool enables users to easily create and add hex meshes in a fraction of the time. With our hex mesh created, we want to create a shell mesh on the interior and exterior surfaces of the hex mesh we have created. This would be a common workflow for a composite analysis. After we generate the hex elements, we can click on the validate menu at the top and click on the faces icon. The faces icon will allow us to select all existing elements and will automatically create a matching shell mesh on top of the previous element faces. As a result of this, the new shell mesh will have nodes automatically aligned to the solid elements. Note this is done without having the equivalence nodes or any additional steps. We can also apply this method to a tet mesh. Nodal alignment can be very important for contact behavior in simulation, so using this technique saves tons of time. HyperMesh's element move and creation tools gives users the flexibility to easily create and manipulate meshes in a fraction of the time. To learn more about HyperMesh or other Altair products, go to www.trueinsight.io.